And with the eyes of the world watching Iraq tonight, many here at home are asking what happens if the United States does get involved? What does it mean for our national security? And really, what is the ultimate cost? Marsha Bonhart continues our team coverage with what a local terror expert has to say about all that. Marsha. Well, Katie, this group, the Sunni ISIS, began as al-Qaeda in Iraq. It was driven underground, and then its leader expanded its membership to Syria. So the war in Iraq created a rift, so the mainstream al-Qaeda had to distance itself from ISIS. The two share the al-Qaeda-like vision, but ISIS is no longer controlled by al-Qaeda mainstream. The situation in Iraq is almost certain to get worse before it gets better. Markets are vulnerable if the situation gets significantly worse. And according to experts, oil prices will probably be higher over the short term. And of course, if that oil price goes up, so will your gas prices. Today, I spoke with a professor at Wright State University. He said we cannot afford for any al-Qaeda to become more powerful. Until somebody solves it, and it's going to continue. And America wanted out, so we're out. But can you stay out <laughs> in an area that we care about in the long term? All right, and again, that was professor, uh, professor at Wright State University, Dr. Shannon, who thinks that the U.S. will aid Iraq against the sunny insurgents with air strikes, not with troops on the ground, as you heard the president earlier. As problematic and corrupt as the Maliki regime is, that is the regime that is there in Iraq now, the U.S. sees it as stable for the Iraqis, somewhat more stable than what has been going on. Marsha Bonhart, 2 News, working for you.